This is Darren's Orange Banks with Information Age Financial Solutions coming to you from an article I read from Market Watch. A shocking number of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. Uh, it seems that we're getting, as we get closer to this cycle and this long expansion, the more and more we keep finding that things are keep unraveling. And this this article caught my attention because you know, a lot of people are living paycheck to paycheck, even though this is touted as the greatest time, a great boom, where we're supposed to be in the economy. You shouldn't have issues like this with this many people uh, living paycheck to paycheck. I'm going to kind of dive right in. As always, I put a link inside the description. Most popular hashtag with my next paycheck will respond to will respond to show how many workers are struggling. Okay, kind of scroll down here. Got some ads here, so it takes a little longer. It seems like everyone is just trying to make ends meet. One of the latest hashtag games making the rounds on Twitter invites social media users to provide pithy and honest answers to this open end statement. With my next paycheck, I will. While these games generally draw amusing memes and witty zingers, many of the responses trending under hashtag with, with my next paycheck, I will, early Tuesday morning, were pretty bleak, with still be broke being the general consensus. And they do a couple tweets here. Sean, still be broke. <laughs> SpongeBob. SpongeBob here <laughs> at that point. Um, And they got another one. I think it ran as well. I'm going to put the link inside the description. I kind of scroll slow because of all the ads they have. And they just show different things. People talking about this. I'll barely make it rain. <laughs> That's funny. Many people noted that their income would be just enough to cover their bills and basic necessities until the next paycheck comes along. Work more to get another paycheck, buy food, pay bills, work more to get another paycheck. We'll be able to, with the next paycheck, this person is able to, will be able to afford to go back to work the next day. <laughs> wow. So it just shows you the state that where we're at financially. Pay my, pay my revising bill. I need my phone. Yeah, phones are extremely important. You know, hashtag games and shit. <laughs> Okay. Of course, some others admitted they will be splurging the income just a little. Okay, some people know. Buying this spoiled cat more kitty treats. All right. I apologize about the slowness of this. So many different ads. This reflects just how many Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. Depending on the survey, that figure runs from half of workers making under 50000 according to Nielsen data, to 75% of all employees from both the American Payroll Association and the National Endowment for Financial Education. And almost 3 in 10 adults have no emergency savings at all, according to Bankrate's latest financial security index. Even many in the upper class are seeing the six-figure income slip through their fingers. The Nielsen study found that one in four families making 150000 a year or more are living paycheck to paycheck while one in three earning between 50000 and 100000 also depend on their next check to keep their heads above water. It's terrible. And Market Watch readers had a lot to say about this popular story from 2019, which showed how a $350,000 salary in an expensive city like San Francisco or NYC might barely qualify as middle class. What does a middle class budget really look like in today's economy? You might want to click on these links. So what's happening? Stagnant wages coupled with a rising cost of living in many places has hurt some households. It seems like it's not just some households, many households. A recent Bankrate.com report that half Americans didn't get a pay raise last year and crippling debt from student loans, credit cards, and, and, or, and or unexpected medical expenses is also taking a huge bite out of many workers' take-home pay. Uh, they got a little out of how wiping out $1.5 trillion student debt to boost the economy. Perhaps even more telling, many Americans lack financial literacy skills, which have taken a nosedive since the Great Recession, which can lead to mismanaging their money or making poor financial decisions. Here's a big in his guide to building a budget. Oh, yeah, they always go back to this basic stuff, but I'm going to read it anyway. They control your finance through 2020, and once you become familiar with basics of tracking expenses and seeing where your paycheck is going, and you set your some financial goals. There are a few different budgeting techniques you can try. Now, I'm not denying that people might have an issue with budgeting, but this article indicates a lot more. 
uh, than just um, learning how to budget. I think the other issues that they pointed out was much more relevant. Not a long article, made it a little longer because of just how many ads are on on a particular uh, particular page or the website. I'm going to put a link inside the description as always. If this video has been any value to you, please subscribe, leave some comments, like button, hit the hit the bell for my next video, and until my next video, I'm out.